Introduction to Graphic Design Hi friends, Graphic Design is an important tool that enhances how you communicate with other people. It is described as an art form and is the practice and planning of sharing ideas and stories through visual and text formats. In today's trend, this is considered as the most successful art form and even considered as the king of the future. The world is your oyster if you know how to visually communicate ideas that inspire, inform, or engage people. This course guides you to the world of graphic design and helps you familiarize all the displayed aspects of graphic designing. And you are not the only voyager to this world. Terry. An aspiring student and his friend Anita, who is well versed in graphic designing, will accompany you. Come on, let us see how Anita guides her friend Terry to learn graphic design. Hi, Terry. How are you? I am good. How are you doing, buddy? Fine, Anita. How is your college life going on? It's going fantastic. My college has initiated different competitions for us to explore many new things. That's a good initiative, Terry. You should also participate in all competitions. Only then can you explore and find the best career path. Were you called for any competition recently? Yes. They are planning to conduct a competition that deals with graphic designing. Wow, that's good, Terry. You should enroll your name for this competition. But I have no idea about graphic design. Graphic design is interesting and fun to learn, buddy. I will help you to master the basics of graphic design. Thank you so much, Anita. As the first step, let's see what graphic design is. Okay, let's get started. Graphic design is an art of visual communication through the use of texts, images, and symbols. This realm of knowledge occupies the intersection of the science of communication and the art of aesthetics. In its most abstract sense, graphic design emphasizes visual communication using a range of elements and different media to promote a specific message. Graphic design, also called communication design, enables more effective storytelling. Designers work from a standardized toolkit of options that have been shaped by peer-reviewed psychological studies of human behavior. The various techniques that designers employ, like using specific color palettes to elicit predictable emotional responses, are part of the science of design. The main aspects of graphic design are Layout, which refers to how the text, images and photographs are arranged on a page. Color, it helps to communicate emotion, tone and mood of a project or brand. Typography, represents the selection of typefaces like font style. For example, how chunky it is. and how light it is, can subtly communicate the mood. There is also a fourth element that comes into the foray. Context Think about some of the most famous icons of the 21st century. Behind each of these logos, there is a story and a graphic designer tasked with the unimaginable job of capturing the hearts and minds of his or her audience of billions of people. Graphic designers' success in managing to do so rested upon their ability to convey the art form that made sense for that period of time. This brings us to context. Context involves understanding the evolving forms of art, design and communication that are relevant to the time and the technology available in that time period. Overall, this is a huge consideration in graphic design. We live in a world that thrives on visuals. 
Ever since companies discovered that they could differentiate themselves through professional brand photography, memorable logos, and standout visual identity design, the need for slick and effective graphic designs has kept talented professionals in demand. Do you know, in the beginning, designers were artists who sketched shapes and concepts based on current trends like the modernistic graphic design movement? As the industry became more fundamentally connected to technology and innovative tools began to advance, the field of graphic design started to evolve. Evolution? Can you please explain this through an example? Let's consider the logo of Pepsi with the relevance of the era. In the early 1900s, Pepsi had a fanciful design that attracted folks to carnivals, town halls, fancy parties and was considered a fun beverage. Fast forward to today, logos have mostly adopted a flat and minimalist design that looks better on a screen. Another element of graphic design is white space. White space? What is it? It's nothing but the areas where there are no designs. Are designers considering white space too? Yes, Terry. The absence or presence can be as powerful as the presence of something more concrete. Designs with plenty of white space sometimes convey sophistication or refinement. At a minimum, in print-heavy contexts, more white space leads to easier reader engagement. Although the science behind great design is sound, each designer applies his or her own creative ideas to develop a specific work product that meets a particular client's needs. Efficient use of white space has been one of Apple Incorporation's most iconic brand elements, with the white space amplified in the Apple stores and on iPhone adverts. Wow! I didn't know that white space had such importance in graphic design. Yes, and there are few more things you should keep in mind. Know your audience and the goal of peace. A designer must be a great communicator. Order and clarity make information easy to understand. And build intuition through practice. Know your audience. For example, you need to know What is the goal of the project? Who is the targeted age group? Where in the world are they located? What has worked for this group in the past? What is the medium going to be? That is, poster, billboard, pamphlet, on-screen, presentation, stationery, stickers, t-shirts, social media, etc. Communication Communication is usually the ultimate purpose of design brands and companies pay designers huge sums of money to put across a point about their products or services or put across an emotion that evokes the viewer to feel a certain way. The best designers always keep this ultimate message in mind when they go about their design work, remembering that there is a purpose to grabbing a viewer's attention. Order and Clarity The order in which information is presented is key in graphic design as it can either distract the viewer from the message or deliver the message even if the viewer did not manage to digest the entire design. Complex sentences and jargon will appeal to only a small section of users. Ultimate clarity is being able to make information easy to understand. Practice makes perfect. Good designers are able to understand client needs rapidly and come up with unique designs for them. Okay, Terry, have you understood the basics of graphic design? Yes, Anita. At its heart, graphic design is a form of art and people have always been drawn to expressing themselves through art. And now I am very eager to learn more about graphic design. That's good, Terry. You are a quick learner. Now let me check what you have understood from my explanations. Can you summarize what you have learned in this session? Sure, Anita. Graphic design is an art of visual communication through the use of texts, 
images and symbols. Graphic design is also called communication design, which enables more effective storytelling. Designers work from a standardized toolkit of options that have been shaped by peer-reviewed psychological studies of human behavior. The main aspects of graphic design are Layout Refers how text, images, and photographs are arranged on a page. Color Can do a lot to communicate emotion, tone, and mood of a project or brand. Typography Represents the selection of typefaces, like font style. How chunky it is and how light it is can subtly communicate the mood. Designs with plenty of white space sometimes convey sophistication or refinement. At a minimum, in-print heavy contexts. Also, more white space leads to easier reader engagement.